Hey everyone, welcome back to Lovely Lavender Wishes. It's Renee and look what I got in the box, in my mailbox today. Your creative studio box. I am assuming this is for June. Um, hang on, let me check. Sometimes it says on the box. Yes, it's the June box, yes. Um, so, uh, I just opened it, I have not looked. And sorry about the light, y'all. I'm doing this early in the morning. I've got light coming in from the window, but hopefully you'll be able to see this. It says, thank you so much for your purchase. Hope you would enjoy this collection. It looks like flowers. Um, it says, yep, the flowers are nature's jewels with whose wealth she decks her summer beauty. By George Crowley or Creeley? I can't read that. <laughs> but... There we go. Oh, look at those flowers. Beautiful. So I'm assuming it's going to be nature, flowers, that kind of thing. Okay, so here is, <clears throat> let me see if I can cut this open, a box with, it looks like ephemera pages and these, all these little pieces. Let me see if I can get this open without slicing my fingers. I love these, uh, retro life like little vintage boxes love these okay so yes it looks like it's a bunch of vintage pieces and then with some large ones as well so let's see here so they look like actually they're vellum stickers they're you see the sticker paper on the back and they're see-through so they're vellum like washi tape large stickers Ooh, look at these whole bunch of different kind of ephemera pieces like old-fashioned words, pieces, maps, advertisements, script writing, bingo cards. Wow. They're all these vellum stickers. Awesome. Love that. And then get, ooh, I think these are some vellum pages. Maps. Little newspaper clippings and then these are paper so you get five vellum sheets and then you get these uh, collage papers looks like five of those as well so five collage papers five vellum pieces and then all these vellum stickers in this little box love it you get so much in one little box of these you can be collaging your heart out I think I'm losing my voice, y'all. <laughs> We've got a cling stamp. Ooh, look at this script cling stamp. I love script stamps. And I showed you, I use these um, envelopes a lot in my junk journaling, or you can even use them in Bible journaling. Decorate the envelope up, stick it in your envelope, in your Bible, or put a little um, paper clip on there and put it in your Bible, and you can put like scripture verses or whatever in the envelope, prayers or what have you. Ooh, actually, this is three stamps. So you get this little flower, Ooh, this flower in script stamp, and then this little flower. Can y'all see that? Cute. So three little clean stamps in this one. Here we get another clean stamp. This is a large one, a large flower one. Like that. Again, I always say I love the details on her stamps. She gets so detailed. It's another stamp. Ooh, washi tape. I love her washi tape. I think her washi tape is one of my favorites, my absolute favorites that I get. Oh, look at that. So here is the washi tape. And you get a lot of it too. When she sends washi tape, you get a lot. See that? Sometimes you get washi tape and it's just, just a little bit. And after a couple try, after a couple uses, it's already gone. Not with your creative studio boxes. I'm still using the original washi tape I got from one of my first boxes. Okay, this is, I have no idea. I have no idea what this is. It says a post box, open here. Wow, look at this. Oh, so it's a book, oh, a book of like postage stamps, large ones. Oh my gosh, I haven't seen this before. These are cute. And let me see if these are stickers. Cause these papers, yep, they're stickers y'all. Let me see, look at that. 
Yes, they are a book of sticker postage stamps, large. Look at all these postage stamps. I'm trying to kind of scroll through it a little bit so you can see what we all get in here. All different colors, so cute. Oh my gosh, I love these. I have not seen these before, y'all. This is new to me. New item, new item, excited. So that's a book of sticker postage stamps. And this looks like a bunch of ephemera pieces, but look, it looks like it's got ooh, a little vellum envelope in here too. I love it. You can use that in your journaling. Oh, look at these. Okay, whoops. <laughs> as I fling it across the room, I think these are stickers as well. Let me just check to make sure. Either that or that's on weird paper. Yep, stickers. Goodness gracious, y'all. Stickers, look at that. So these are stickers as well. Look at those. Gorgeous. This is so my style. So my style. Postcards. Oh, could have used that in my butterfly journal that I just finished. <laughs> Which I will have the um, flip through in a, in a bit. I'm a little behind on posting videos, y'all. I'm still posting my uh, how-to videos, but I literally just finished it, I think yesterday. So I will be doing a, a flip through. Look at these, gorgeous. They're all stickers. Here's another butterfly one. I think I'm gonna have to do a nature journal next. Maybe use all this stuff in the nature journal. Okay, so that again, you get a whole bunch of them and then you get this vellum envelope as well. So cute. And then you can use this packaging as well. And this packaging for window. I showed you how y'all can make like little window things with this packaging. Okay, retro labels here. So much in these boxes, I love it. Love it. Okay. So you get little, little mini tags. Little, uh, like little pharmacy notes here, little tickets, little tickets. And it's got um, the gold sh uh, foil on it on some of these. Little specimen type cards or label cards. Look at that gold foil on that. That's gorgeous, gorgeous. So these are all like little train tickets. And little, those are cute. Little labels. Retro labels, that's why it's called that. And I love this too, you can use that in your journaling. So travel retro labels. Here is ephemera pieces. Uh, looks like a bunch of flowers. I love the background paper that it comes on. Look at that. That's gorgeous. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Hope you all can see that with the light. I know the lighting is not too great right now. It's better in real life, y'all. These are a little bit more vibrant in real life. So these are a little bit thicker card stock. So you can use these for ephemera pieces. Little tags, perhaps. Hang. Get a little. So you get two of each one. Just lots of flowers. Here's some mini flowers. Branches, some mini flowers. So you get large and small sizes. Whoops. You get some little tags. Oh, definitely gonna have to do those in my Bible journaling. So again, you get a bunch in that one. Just keeps going, y'all. This looks like ephemera, paper ephemera pieces. And there's another really cool background. So yes, you get thin paper ephemera pieces. These are great for collaging, for a little note taking. Oh, it looks like you get some vellum pieces as well. This is a vellum piece. 
So it looks like you get some paper of each one and then a vellum piece of each one. Let me make sure. So you get a bunch of paper pieces. Yep, and then you get a vellum piece. So it looks like maybe, let's see, one, two, I'm assuming five. One, two. Oh, okay, no. So you get two light pieces. This one's a cardstock piece and then a vellum piece. So you get two light pieces of paper, a cardstock piece of paper, and then a vellum. So for each design, it looks like you get that. So let's see, for the large ones. Two light pieces of paper, like thin. Here's your card stock. And then here's your vellum piece. So yes, so you get all these different styles. So small and large. Cool, love that. Here's the vellum piece. Okay, so you get a ton of collage pieces in this one. Like thin card, thin, you know, weighted paper, a card stock, and then vellum. And then here we've got, looks like some tissue paper. Well, here we have some flower stickers. Here we have some very thin tissue paper. I'm not even gonna open this. It looks like it's very, very thin. It looks like you get a few, probably three to five pages in this. Let's see. Very thin tissue paper. Kind of like napkin, almost. Look at that. Love that. This would be perfect to make a window in. This would have been good for the butterfly journal as well. I have so many. I could probably make a hundred more butterfly journals. This is why I don't like taking this out, y'all. They get stuck on the... Okay. We'll fool with that later. <laughs> and then we get these stickers. Clear stickers. Gosh, this thing keeps going. And then this is, I'm assuming paper, but let's... I better not assume because sometimes when I assume, I get wrong. Ooh, yeah, and it looks like I am wrong. Look at that. Clear, you get like a vellum or acetate paper here. And then you got these, all the, these are paper, like script letters and notes. These would be so cute to fold up in an envelope. It's thin paper, thin paper. Look at all these. You get a bunch of script letters. And then the top sheet is a vellum sheet. So cute. I haven't seen this one before either. This is a new one. So there we go, y'all. That is that looks like that's the box for this month for June. And again, so my style. I love these. I'm definitely gonna have to do a nature journal. I'm gonna have to kick around some ideas, y'all. Gotta get out of the butterfly mode and get into nature. So we get all of that. This uh what is that tissue paper these stickers these stickers all these these ephemera papers all these ephemera pieces of flowers all these labels this whole thing of stickers um the large beautiful stickers this box of sticker postcards the washi tape flower washi tape the big cling stamps three little cling stamps in here and then this whole vintage uh, retro life, um, these were stickers and paper um, of just retro stuff. And then the card. So that is the Your Creative Studio box for June. So if you are interested, you can go to Your Creative Studio online. I'll put the link down below and you can order your boxes. You can order a monthly or up to, I think, four months at a time. They're about $28 a box. Um, she ships all over the world. Um, she's a, uh, They were having a little shipping problem back when you know it was hard to get supplies in. So they might be a little late, but she sends out an email to let you know when the boxes are on their way. 
And this is the June box. So we're only halfway through June and I got the box for June. So it's not like you're waiting like an extra month or anything. They're very good on their shipping. Um, but I love their style. I love the Your Creative Studio style. It's more vintagey. So if you're into the vintagey stuff, this is the kind of stuff you'll get in a box. And it's always a surprise. I never know what I'm gonna get in every box, but I have never been disappointed yet. So for those of you who are interested, you know, go over there. I don't make any money off this. I'm just, I just love her stuff. And I, anytime I love somebody's stuff, I want to promote it um, and help them grow. So I hope you all have a very blessed day. I will see you in the next video. Bye y'all.